And you wanna say you wanna be like Pepper, you wanna be the hot man like a hot spicy pepper. Oh! Welcome. The name's Bepler McGruff, and I'm flying at you tough. What do I have? Some keyboard shortcut suggestions with a little bit of fluff. So, I'm a man and a boy who has made some choices to no longer use all the keys that are over here. No, no. No. I don't dwell in the over here any longer. All right, anything beyond f f four or five TGB space is is just not my jam. See, I've moved my hand <laughs> over to this side of the keyboard, and my tablet pen has gone missing. So this is an all mouse tutorial, just like the old good old days. <laughs> so, hey, are you an individual that wants to get faster at your animating? Boy, do I have some tips for you. If you go to edit in any version of Flash and then go keyboard shortcuts right here, you can, well, you would normally be on this if you don't know what I'm talking about. You can duplicate that set right there and you can call it Garble. And then you can save it and then you have a new set and these are all yours. It'll automatically go to it and it'll be your current in use set. You can change that by just dropping down and selecting any other. And then if you go down into these, which are representative of these, then you're going to have so many choices. You can just change stuff. You can see what it's already set at. And you can just like, oh, convert to symbol F8. How about convert to symbol F1? <gasps> and then sometimes you might be overwriting a previous preset shortcut. And in that case, assuming you still want to change it, you'll read, oh, uh, doesn't matter. Change, reassign. So whatever it was assigned to, that's gone now. And now you got this, a new shortcut. And if you want to get rid of F8, so when you're hitting F8, you don't end up using this, this shortcut, just subtract it. All right, these are the basics. I've gone over it many a time. So let's talk cold turkey. Let's talk making it work for you. The things that I find helpful that you might too. <laughs> this isn't going to be exactly the same as my uh, custom set here because I'm using this. I'm using this third party program that makes it so that I can use single key presses for certain things. But it still applies, okay? This still applies to anybody who wants to get faster, who wants to move their hand away from flying over from one side of the keyboard to the next. You know, you want to just keep a pinky on the control key at all times because then the furthest you'll ever have to reach is up to F4 and and maybe to B if your hand is a weird shape so you're always keeping your left hand in one spot and your mouse is the only thing that moves around that's the dream you know try and see how close you can get because the closer you are to that the faster you're gonna be so top 10 I mean top 17 Duffler quick tips for quickness. First of all, give yourself a keyboard shortcut for keyboard shortcuts when you're changing these. You don't want to be going edit and then keyboard shortcuts a thousand times over and over. So I put it at F12. I'm just going to be slamming down F12. Next tip for. Oh, yeah, and the, the place you go to do it is just where you would find it in here. So you would go edit and then you would go down here and you would do this, like I said. Bam! This one is quite possibly my favorite of all of them, the one that has done me the most good, and that is zooming in and out on the fly. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Normally, you might grab your magnifying glass and think, oh, this is efficient, and this is what I will use. Mm, Clickety-click, and then you might do a selection. You're like, I'm the coolest cat in town. I'm super cool. Mm -mm. Never. I've never. I. You don't need it. You just don't need it. You can go view, zoom in, zoom out, just like that. Now you, can, you notice I've got some shortcuts here. I use Control X and Z for those things. So look at that. This is all. Uh, my hand is off the mouse. I'm scratching my face while I'm doing. Mm, mm. And if something is selected like this, just punch in on whatever's selected. Bam when you're doing zoom in zoom out so there's like focal zooming if you just want to zoom in on the center of your screen you deselect everything and then you're doing that BAM 
All right, it's the best one. That's, there's just no getting around it. Next one, the flipping mechanic. Notice how this is not flipped right now. Ooh, ooh, did that not work, Valkler? No, no, no. I, of course it worked. It worked. Don't, don't, don't patronize me. I'm, I'm just a man. Okay, let me just. Let me just triple quadruple check that my keyboard shortcuts are in fact in the working state right now. Control E and Control E, that's what I was trying. There. It was just a bug. Flash 8 is buggy. Don't worry about it. So, if you want to flip it left, you got it. You want to flip it up and down? You got it. You just give yourself some custom keys for these. Shazam. Now that glitch that I went through just now, I remember it happening. I just switched back to 8. And it was a thing with 8 where sometimes keyboard shortcuts is just pause up for a second. If that ever happens to you, okay, and you're using a custom set, try not to panic. Take some deep breaths. Close your flash. Reopen it. It'll almost always solve the problem. In CC, I have never had that happen, so clearly Adobe did something about it. Moving on. Aligning. All right. I love this one. I just love it. So say you've got something over here. Mm, ah, I want it in the middle. <laughs> What about all these? Oh, I want them all in the middle. <gasps> Could it be that easy? Yeah, yeah, you can go modify a line. First of all, make sure two stage is clicked, and then you just go vertical center, horizontal center. Notice I put them on Shift Z and Shift X. Very classy. This is just gonna work, all right? Anytime you need to do some sweet, sweet aligning, like you've got like, um. You got some punching that you want to do, like, oh, that's not at all what I wanted. So you got like a circle here, and then you've got another circle here. Psh, that's not a circle. You want to take this one out of this one from the very center, but it's kind of hard to find where to do it. Just give yourself a quick little alignment on both of them. Then you uh, see so many applications. I was trying to make a moon the other day, and I, I was in a jam. Like I was. Uh, doing this thing and then I made it a different color and I wanted all of this but it was selecting this half for some reason so I was like hmm I wonder how I can solve this this problem so I grouped it I centered it I broke it I made a vertical line I centered the line and then I was able to get exactly what I needed deselecting this without getting any weird uh, secondary handmade improperties exact alignment What's up next on this, the thing that I made? The thing that I made? I made this. It's the moon chart. Rolling back to it. Rotations. All right. These are the things that are going to, they're going to get you that fine precision. So if you go up to window, other panels, history, and then grab something like this, you can try and rotate it just a little bit. Turn off snapping. It'll make it easier. You're trying to get it to be a 1.0 situation. So once you do, you can click it and then make it into a command. You would type, you know, clockwise rotation one or something. And then you'll have it right there. And then you can go edit, keyboard shortcuts. Ed, well, you can hit F12. <laughs> I'm in tutorial mode. And then you can go down to your commands and go clockwise one, bind it to something convenient. I used shift Q and E, get it? Cause it's kind of like rotating, like the arrow keys are up, down, left, right, and then Q and E are rotation. I got a system going on and you can get a system too. But the thing is, look at this. I'm not even using the free transform option. Ready? This is all with a keyboard. Ready? Check this out. I'm just gonna get it spinning in the middle. Mm, here's my, my other hand is just snapping away. <laughs> And you don't even have to have free transform on. You can just do it so like you want to just spin the middle of this and then spin this part back and then spin these. It's like the speed with which you can do precise editing. And then there's also a default uh, built-in thing where you can modify transform and rotate by 90. Those are awesome for big rotations like, like this. So what do we got next? Deleting and clearing, you guys. Look how far away on your keyboard right now backspace is from the left control key. It's miles away. It's, it's miles away. You don't want to be reaching over like, oh, oh, I have to get rid of this one thing. Let me let me trek across a, 
uh, the the Great North America. All right, let me let me just circumnavigate the planet to go delete this. No, 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 no. You can do it at home right here. Just put it on something easy. I have it on the X key. Very high class right there. That just makes sense. So that I can easily just delete stuff. Bam. It's a uh, modify clear. It's it's somewhere in there. It's edit clear. There it is. See? X. Super helpful. Super good. Next up, symbolizing. So when you draw something and you normally hit F8 and it'll convert to a symbol, you get this window and you have to like oh, look at everything, do a lot of stuff and hit OK. That was like four, there's like 40 steps. Okay, look at my method. Hmm, done. Flash Pebbler. Flash Pebbler. How? Super easy. Okay, you just do one. Again, you go to your history window, and then you're gonna you're gonna go make a command. See, you make a symbol like normal. You hit OK, and then there's this awesome uh, convert to symbol movie clip center. Yada yada. You can make one for graphics and movie clips, whatever floats your boat. Just go in, save it as a command, call it like symbol or make symbol, whatever you need, and then do the same thing, do a command bind to it. Now, you're making quick symbols on the fly. You never even thought the speed with which you could acquire so many symbols was, was doable, but there they are. <laughs> and oh, they are sweet. Next up, smoothing and straightening. Mm. Oh, I didn't like the way I drew this. Let me just, uh, have it not work. <laughs> Flashy is just trying to make me look like an idiot, but these two options here can have keyboard shortcuts applied to them. That is edit, or that's modify, shape, smooth, straighten. My tab and my control tab aren't seeming to work. For some reason, maybe if I just uh, try and reopen the flash thing, give it a little, give it a little crack on the rocks and see what we got. Mm, yeah, there, he's back in business. See that, how effective that was? So it's it's good if you're ever doing like stick figures and you draw a leg just sort of wrong, you wanna like give it a little of that fatherly love. Just sneak in there and guide him on the right path. Okay, teach him where, maybe if just the thigh isn't looking good, just Smooth that out a little bit. Just make it how you need. We got our next one coming up. Properties window. Ready? See this? Oh, uh, I'm a mouse user. I want to go down there and click this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You could run a marathon in the time it takes you to go down here, click that. Or even worse, God forbid, click that. I mean, that is a tiny four pixel high target. You're never going to get it. Just instead, just instead. I have ones for, for all the stuff. Just want to clear up some workspace. Oh, let me just clear it up. Mm. <laughs> you can do that by binding keys to the things in the window tab right here, and it'll just open them and close them right up for you. I put them on Shift F T G for those ones. Bam. Next up, the rulers. Oh. <laughs> You know the drill. Uh, I don't like right-clicking the stage somewhere because I might have stuff selected and like I don't want to accidentally select this. You know, it's like where are my rulers now? You have to like select the stage and go. Aah! Just make a key for it, and there you go. Now you can make guides real fast. I even have one for editing the guides. You don't have to go that far though. You know, just one for the rulers is a pretty good step in the right direction instead of right-clicking and going rulers. That's up in <sighs> edit. <laughs> I don't know. Edit rulers. It's it view rulers. Next up, document properties. Bam, because it just takes forever to go down here and click this or double click this. So just make a key for it. Change your stage on the fly. Change your FPS whenever you need it. All right, instead of. Uh, uh, no more <laughs> of that. You can have your document properties. I mean, you can have your properties closed while you're doing it. Look at that. What's up next? Exporting images. Oh, I love to do this a lot. I did this just today, multiple times. I drew a beautiful flash picture. It's so good. 
I really need to export this right now. It's all artsy, but uh, <laughs> oh no, that's so many, so much work. Instead, just bam. Now you're on the screen. You're already exporting the image, right? Take it, take your life to the next step. That is, as I showed, file export. We got remove frames. Okay, guys. Okay, this is a big one for me. This, this is almost as big as uh, zooming in, zooming out. So you got all these these things, but I don't want this one. Okay, I don't want it. So a normal person would right click it, <sighs> remove frames. <laughs> But you don't have to live like that. You can go modify timeline. Mm, you can go edit <laughs> timeline. R remove frames. Okay. The default is going to be shift F5, but that means that means you're reaching all the way past F4, <laughs> and and nobody wants to reach past F4. <laughs> so just go here. Give yourself a close one, like I do Alt X. You can do like Control X. Oh, you know, boat floaters, guys. Same thing goes for copying and pasting frames. Uh, I got Alt C and Alt V. Bam! I'm I'm pasting like crazy instead of so. I, uh, uh, man, oh, I just turned 80 in the time it took me to do all those things. <laughs> All right, last one, last one to end on. We got these two keys on your keyboard, this and this, also known as period and comma. I mean comma and period. <laughs> these will scrub through your frames like this. They will go left and right, the shortcut for, I mean the path to them is right here. You should put them closer. <laughs> you should put them like right next to your left hand. <laughs> So you don't have to reach over and then do it, you know? Same thing goes for like making a new blank keyframe and extending frames. You can just put those all right next to each other and then you're gonna have them right there. So like you can do your double frames like that. I'm doing it right now, like look at these. Cause I got my next frame and my extend frame right beside each other. Make what works for you. Do it up fast, guys. Modify, timeline. If you even make two or even one of these tiny little changes to your keyboard shortcut regime, regime you're going to see upwards of a 3 or 4% increase in the increase of your speed over time. Or not. You know, this could all be subjective, and you may have just gotten really good at going like this. It's a city. <laughs> and it only took 20 minutes. Thank you for watching. I'm Flash Bepler. Good luck and good night.